welcome back to my channel, The Movie and Makeup Moment. Today, we are going to do a little unbagging and unboxing. I ordered something from Sephora, but I also got my um, Ipsy for October, so I'm gonna unbox that with you, or unbag. And today, we are drinking something new. I've never had it before. It's 1911, what is it? black cherry hard cider this can is actually pretty big it's 16 ounces so it's 240 calories i am hoping i don't drink the whole thing because it's kind of a lot but we'll see how it goes Ooh, it says it's handcrafted in new york Produced by Beacon Skiff Apple Farms. It has a really strong black cherry taste. It doesn't taste bad. It has like a funky smell. I don't know. It kind of smells like fart. But when you're drinking it, it doesn't taste bad. And it doesn't... Oh no, that's weird. I've never said like a drink smelled like fart before, so I don't know. That doesn't sound great, but we've been trying to drink uh, ciders because they don't hurt my husband's stomach. Beer, for some reason, tends to hurt him. So we've been trying out some ciders. It's pretty good, except for how heavily dense the calories are, but Anyways, so before we get into it, please hit that like button and subscribe, stay a while, hang out. I am going to do a little bit of a chit chat, get ready with me once we do the unbagging because a lot has been kind of going on here and I'd love to share it with you. All right, so let's start with, let's start with Sephora because there's only one item. So I ordered from Sephora, I picked up, the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude Glow Highlighter. I'm a little nervous because I saw some reviews of it and it looked a little deep on some, some people's skin tones and then on others it looked totally fine so I'm a little confused. I hope I like it. This will, if, if, if it doesn't work out, it was $42. If it doesn't work out, I will be returning it because I'm not keeping something that I'm not gonna use. Um, that just is what it is. And with COVID, it's not like I could go into the store and swatch it, which is kind of a downside. Uh, but I really want to like this. So I really, really hope I like it because I only keep one highlighter at a time in my collection because I don't know, I, I wanna love on it. You know, it's like, it's really enjoyable for me to use highlight. So we'll get into this in a second. I have two free samples. I have the Caviar Anti-Aging Transformation uh, CC Cream. Oh, I didn't realize it was a CC cream. That's interesting. I'll have to try that out one day. And then the Clarins Multi-Active Day anti Regal Correction Serum. Uh, they had a lot of like foundation samples and I didn't really want that. Okay, and then the rest is just a receipt. All right, so this is what the packaging looks like. It's pretty big. I like that it's pretty big. It feels very luxe. All right, it has an 18 month expiration date on it. And it has this rose gold kind of packaging on the inside with like plastic on the front, but the rest is like very like metallic. Uh, it's cute. Ooh. Okay, so my initial impression is that the highlight pan is actually pretty small compared to the rest of it. Um, and I was a little worried because see that like little bit of product right there? Uh, so it was a little messy when I opened it up, but it doesn't look like there's a dent or anything in the actual product. Um, and then there's a mirror, which 
I didn't realize there was going to be a mirror, so that's kind of nice. I can use it to apply my makeup. Um, and it looks really, really pretty. I'm excited for this. Let me swatch it. Oh, it feels drier than I was expecting it. Like, like I thought, oh, okay, when I rub my finger in here, it's going to be soft and I'm going to like mess up the design. But like, see that? It's not even really making a dent in the design. I mean, it is coming off of my finger, which it looks lighter there. Um, that makes me confident that I'm going to be able to use it. All right, it looks kind of dark on my arm, but it almost looks like I'm going to be able to pull that off. It has like a little bit of a, it has a little bit of a, like a pinky texture. I mean, I think they did say there were, there were pink undertones in it. Uh, so we will play around with this. I'm excited for this. I think that I can make this work. I'm not gonna return it if I can't use it on the daily. It, it doesn't feel as secure when I close it. I don't know. I thought it was gonna like click, kind of like my Jouer blush does. I don't know. Now we're gonna get to Ipsy. I ordered some add-ons this, this time. My first add-on was the, uh, for $3, was the Briogeo Farewell Frizz Rosarco Milk Leave-In Conditioning Spray. I got a Briogeo leave-in conditioner once in a subscription box. I think it might have been BoxyCharm. No, it wasn't BoxyCharm. Maybe it was BoxyCharm. I don't know. I got it like a year ago, but my daughter loved it as a leave-in conditioner and detangler. And she's very um, sensitive to me brushing her hair. So I like to use these on her hair. Even if it's a placebo, like she just doesn't scream as much. So... I really like these and she trusts it. She likes it. She's like, oh, this is a better experience. So she, and it, she has curly hair, so it, it makes her hair look nice. Okay, and then, let's see, my other add-on. Is the Lottie Slay All Day. I don't know, is this a liquid lipstick? Longwear matte liquid lipstick. So we'll see. It kind of looks darker than I thought it would be, but I don't have any liquid lipsticks anymore. Um, my daughter destroyed all of the ones that I had. So I'm excited to try this. And then the rest actually came in my bag. So let's see. The October bag is really cute. It has like all these designs on it. It looks very like mystical for October and it says your magic on the other side. I am definitely going to reuse this bag for my niece for her stocking for Christmas or my sister. I don't think either one of them watch my channel so I think it's fine. Um, and then we have the little card and a couple items came not in my bag. Sorry if you can hear my kids downstairs. Okay, so this says everything that we have in the bag, so I don't wanna. It says, with a pinch of shimmer and a wave of mascara wand, this month, cast a spell on yourself. There were a couple items that didn't fit in the bag this month, so let me pull those out. So the first item are two face masks. I love getting face masks. Um, I just do because I, I use them. I genuinely enjoy them. These I will probably give away in Christmas stockings because I'm starting to like kind of think about Christmas and, and want to kind of, it's, I think subscription boxes are great for when it comes to Christmas stockings because you keep what you like and then what you don't necessarily need. And I don't need these right now because I had the face story subscription that I did. So these I will give probably one to my niece and one to my mom. Mom, if you're watching this, shh, pretend you don't know. Um, it says, the only two sheet masks you'll ever need to keep your skin looking good and feeling fresh this fall. Right this way, use the Apres C mask after day in the sun to cool skin down and restore hydration levels or the face of the day mask to help your skin recover after a late night. Oh, okay. Face of the day. 
So this is this is the nighttime mask, and then this is the face, the, the daytime mask. That's a really cool concept. That's why they probably included both. So I will be giving these away uh, for Christmas. So I'm very excited to have that. Okay, and then the second item that didn't fit in my um, Ipsy bag is this little brush. It says SL Miss Glam P40 Round Blusher Brush. We always look to Miss Glam brushes with a touch of fun, sparkle, and personality. Yes, it's so pretty. I really, really want to keep this, but there's something else in my bag that I can't use, and I was thinking that this plus that would be a really good um, stocking stuffer for my niece. So, because I don't need it. I want this, though. Look how pretty it is. Okay. And that retails for $18.50. So it's a nice, it's a nice brush. Oh, I didn't say it before, but the masks each retailed for $5. Okay. And then let me pull out the thing that I know that I can't use. So I purchased the $42 highlighter. And then I found out that I was getting a highlighter basically in the same color from Essence a pure nude highlighter. And I'm sure it's great, and I don't wanna swatch it because I'm gonna give it to my niece for Christmas. I don't need two, and I wasn't gonna return the $42 one for the, let's see, this is $10. It retails for $10. And see, and they're not the exact same shade, but they're pretty close. And this is kind of gold for me. She has a little bit of a deeper complexion than I do. Um, and she's 14, so, well, she'll be 15 at Christmas. So she'll hopefully get a kick out of this. If not, whatever, maybe she'll have fun. It's really hard to buy 14 year olds and 15 year olds gifts they like, let's be honest. All right, so I'm putting these aside, but I'm happy with getting those. Um, now, I got mascara, so this is the the It Cosmetics Lash Blowout Salon Volume Lift Mascara in Black. Wow, that is a really long name. Um, I got this, actually, I've never had this before. I've had an It Mascara before and I hated it. Um, I love getting little mini mascaras, but I will say that I got a mascara last month, so I feel kind of like I didn't need one two months in a row, but like I can't really complain about it because I do like getting mini mascaras. I feel like they are good values because you can buy a mini mascara uh, for like 10 or $12 at Sephora. So I'm not upset about this. Um, so I will save it for when I need it. This, however, this is the one item that I'm like, I wish I hadn't picked this. This was my choice item. It is so tiny. Look at how small that is. This is the Tarte uh, Maracuja Tinted Hydrator in Fair Neutral. I picked this because I was using the Pure Lease last, from last month's thing that was the, um, the CC cream with like the sunblock in it. And I really didn't like it. And so I was thinking I could compare this, but this is so small and it's not something I, I use all the time. So I kind of wish that I had a different product, but I'm really not upset about it. I feel like the value was there in the box. Like I got this, I got this, I got the highlighter, I got the mascara, ah, and then I got the face masks. So all in all, I am happy. I, you know, I'm never really upset with Ipsy because I only pay um, $12 in tax for the bag. And I just, I just enjoy getting it in the mail and it's a nice little surprise. And I mean, we do get the bag. I don't ever count the bag as like part of the retail value because there is some guilt involved with receiving this bag. I feel like I have to do something with it. And so I have decided to save them for Christmas, but I will say because of COVID, there's a lot of people I'm not getting Christmas gifts for. And so now I have more bags than I can actually use. I don't know. Maybe I'll fill them with candy and give them to 
family members that I wouldn't normally give a Christmas gift to. If you watch my channel and you're my family member and you got an Ipsy bag full of candy, sorry, hope you can use it. So the, the only two things from my bag that I will be using are, is this today. Actually, that's one thing, but I got this and I will use this in the future, but not today. I, I don't open mascaras because I like to kind of use them in order. I don't feel like, I feel like especially with minis, they get dry really easily. So you need to like open them when you plan on using them. And I hate purchasing mascara, so I like to use it. So this is what I will be using today. And I will use the little add-on $3 lipstick. Um, sorry, I'm not trying the other stuff, but it's just how it is when there's Christmas around. It, like, it makes me really kind of think first before I use products that I may not necessarily appreciate as much as other people. So now it's time for the little get ready with me. Let me center myself a little bit. Uh, I don't really know what makeup look. Oh, I forgot my concealer. Let me get my concealer. So how are you guys doing? I, you know, last night was the first night that I started thinking about Christmas. I was trying to put off Christmas shopping as much as possible, like it, as long as possible. Because I mean, Halloween hasn't even happened yet. But I started feeling the pressure of like figuring out Christmas, not so much for myself, um, but like when you have kids, people start asking you like, what do they want for Christmas? What do they want for Christmas? And I feel really bad if I don't know. And then last night, uh, Amazon sent their catalog of Christmas presents. And I guess like my husband, when he was a kid, it was a tradition to kind of look through the catalog and, um, pick out what you wanted for your Christmas list for Santa. And my four year old was like really into it. They don't put the prices on anything um, when they send you the thing. So you're just like hoping that it's a decent price. And like, of course I see toys and I'm like, I saw the Baby Alive uh, grow up doll. She like put that on her list. And I was like, oh, it's a doll. Like I know what ballpark that's going to be and then I went on Amazon's website and the doll was $70 like my daughter doesn't understand cost right and like yeah we could buy her a $70 doll but like I don't feel like it's worth it and I feel like she wouldn't have thought it was worth it either she wouldn't have wanted to forego like a whole bunch of other gifts for like for that doll you know what I mean so you kind of have to like edit their choices so I ended up making their I always make like an Amazon wish list for family oh my god I need I need to go get my eyebrows done like really bad um I always end up making an Amazon wish list for family so uh, I made one last night, but then I decided like we should just buy what we were going to get for our kids. And like my kids are four and two and like in the past, what the hell? See, this is why you shouldn't drink and do your makeup. <sighs> Whatever. It's rainy. I'm not going out anywhere. Um... I don't even remember what I was saying. Nope. What was I saying? Oh, I so we always used to do like one gift for me and then we would have Santa give one gift for each child and then Santa would give our kids a gift that they would share and it would usually be like a bigger gift that we could like justify them sharing like 
uh, one year they got a cozy coop or uh, I don't even remember what we gave them last year. But it was just, it was, you know, it, it worked out that way. Um, this year we couldn't figure out what their shared gift would be. And so we were just like, screw it. Let's, let, like, let's just give them a gift we know that they're gonna like, like tell Santa to bring the gift that they know they're gonna like. I, I'm gonna do a bold look and I'm probably gonna look like crazy and we're just gonna roll with it. No judgment zone. Um, so, oh my God, there might be judgment in this zone. I haven't used this color before with Juvia's Place. Let me see if I can. It's actually really hard to like do my makeup and film. Good enough. Ooh, I almost dipped into the Natasha Tone with this green shade. Oh, oh, that would have sucked. So yeah. I, so I ended up buying them all their Christmas gifts, but like, my problem is like, I have a really hard time stopping. Like I end up seeing all these toys that I, like I would have wanted when I was a kid. So then I want to buy it. And like, we're very big on, oh, just because we can afford to buy them it, like we don't want them to, cause it, I feel like they enjoy their toys more. Like, for example, say they have a toy that they like really love and they play with nonstop. And I'm like, oh, like for example, my son has this car uh, that we got from Target and it makes noises, like it has buttons on it and it makes noises and it like goes, I don't know. It, I don't know how to explain it. I could go get the toy cause it's like right over there, but I'm too lazy. And I, I had like the thought, I was like, should I get more? Cause there's like a whole collection of cars that are like that and he loves it. But then, you know, in my experience of being a parent, like I've done that before and then they don't like the toys anymore. They're like overwhelmed and they can't enjoy it. And I'm like, it makes sense. Cause if I like love a top, but then I buy it in every color, then all of a sudden it's not special anymore and I can't enjoy it. Wow, I'm getting a ton of fallout and I already did my under eye concealer. Okay. Um, so I'm resisting the urge to like buy more gifts. Parents of multiple kids, because this is like the first time that Adam, my son, is two. So he's like old enough to like kind of be aware of Christmas. <sighs> Do you feel like your kids have to have the same number of presents? I'm going to try to do that like flippy thing that uh, Bailey Sarian does. I don't know if that's going to work. This color is a little scary for me. Not going to lie. Woo, that like went right into my brow. Um, I'm just going to use the viewfinder because it seems to be easier right now. Um, do you feel like your kids have to have like the equal amount of presents? Because... I feel like my daughter's gifts are a little bit like, not more expensive, but they're like bigger and better. And my son wants like these little things. So I like want to get him more, but I don't want her to like count the gifts. I don't know. I'm probably reading into it too much. Why can't I flick this thing out? I guess that's not too bad. All right, now I'm gonna like really smoke out my my under eye because I'm not going anywhere, so why not? Why not? Um, so my friend, my mom friend Erica, shout out if you actually watch this video because she watches some of them, but we're like busy. I get like why she can't watch them. I'm not saying anything. I just, if she watches this, like, Erica is a mom friend that like is totally my type of mom. I feel like I can just like be 
totally and completely honest about how I parent my kids and like I won't get any judgment for her which it's just so freeing because like some parents like they say oh I'm not like I wouldn't judge I wouldn't judge but like you kind of get a look every now and then and you're like I'm not being honest with this person again you know or you just you kind of see what they do and they kind of hold themselves to a higher standard and I'm like I don't want to like I love my kids but I don't want to be stressed about being a parent they don't enjoy it and then I'm like, well, why am I doing that? I'm doing it for what? Society? They don't even come into my house and see how I raise my kids. So, like, what's the point? Oh, my gosh. I saw someone <laughs> get drunk and spill the tea. I saw someone that is a new mom. Her baby is only, like, three months old. I'm not going to say who it is. She's not going to watch my videos, so it's totally fine. Um, she posted on Facebook like bitching people out about like how they raise their kids and how she like her son probably shouldn't have said son her child we already know it's a son right her son is gonna have like rules and like not act a certain way and yada yada it's like okay you have a three-month-old baby and it's hard to have a three-month-old baby like I personally could not handle a three-month-old baby right now that is a different kind of hard. But I feel like when you have a three month old baby, you control everything. You can control everything. You can't control everything when they're older. Like you can have limits and stuff. I don't know, I guess this is gonna get into like a very, I just feel like when I was a mom of a three month old baby, I was like, I'm gonna have everything perfect and everything like this and everything like that. And then my kids were like, hey, like we're part of this equation. It's not just you. And I've had to accept that as a as a parent. Oh, I forgot to do this. Sorry if you can hear my dog. Um so anyway, that's I just it kind of makes me laugh a little bit because I feel like when you don't have kids, you have so much to say. And you just, you have more energy to make those plans. Like you become a parent and you're like, oh wow, I'm like really tired. And then the goal doesn't become to control your child. Oh, I just woke up my son. Then the goal doesn't become to control your child. The goal becomes to help create the space for learning the the point was not to shame that mom the point was I just feel like parenting is complicated and the only person that is gonna know the right way to parent a child is the parent of that child because there's plenty of things that I've done as a parent that I would have never ever thought that I would do like my daughter, we sleep trained her and everything. And we're like really strict about sleep. And then my second son would, slept in bed with us for two months because he just wouldn't sleep otherwise. And the only way that he wanted to sleep was on his lap, like on his belly. And I was like terrified that he was going to die. So, all right, let's try some of this highlighter. Actually, no, I have to do this. It's like hard to concentrate. I like I'm trying to be quiet now because I'm like, I'm not ready for you to wake up. I guess we could talk about that now. So my son, we decided, oops, they came out really fast. I don't know if this is gonna match me, so. Um, we decided to potty train him or I decided to potty train him like kind of on a whim yesterday. He's two and a half ish. He's not quite two and a half. Um, but I knew it was gonna be rainy and I was like, oh, well, if it's gonna be rainy, we can be inside. And 
I knew that he wasn't connecting the idea of like, oh, I'm going potty to like actually peeing. So I just decided we're just gonna let him have accidents. Like I'm going to take his diaper off and we're just gonna go around the house naked. And it's just gonna be what it is. It'll be a learning experience. And if we don't full on potty train, then great. Well, it ended up working out really well. The only thing that sucks is like, I feel like because he's going through like this developmental leap, especially with potty training, his sleep has gone to shit. Just like he was up so much last night. We picked out um, underwear for him. It's only 1.30. He's only been asleep for less than an hour. Like he cannot wake up right now. I kind of like that more than the pure lease. Let me go address my son. I'll be right back. It's like no other. And I went in there and he just like was so angry. Like, dude, you're angry because you're tired. And now I've been filming for like 35 minutes. I'm not anywhere close to done. And you're gonna hear crying in the background. I don't know how to explain the feeling that happens when you get like robbed of nap time. Like I've been so on, he's been so clingy, especially because of potty training. I'm just like, I really, I needed this nap time. Ooh, that is much more red than I expected it to be. That is not something I would want to wear with this eye look, but I don't hate it. It's a nice little autumn color. <sighs> Let me see if I can tone it down a little bit with my nude. Oh no, I grabbed the wrong one. It just feels kind of overdone with the eye look. I don't like that. Hold on. I'll have to wear that with a neutral eye. All right. My son is actually laying down now. Wow. I made a mess on my lips. He's mad though. So if you hear him in the background, this just is what it is. I don't even remember what I was saying. I like can't even think. Let's use the highlighter. And if my kid's screaming in the background and it bothers you, then just be grateful that you don't have children. And if you have children and they don't do this, then I don't wanna hear it. I don't wanna hear anything about it. All right, let's try this Natasha Denona highlighter. And if this does not work on my skin tone, I'm gonna be upset.
It doesn't. It doesn't feel too dark. Does it look too dark? It's kind of, it's more gold than I was really expecting it to be like on my face. But I'm not, see when it, they describe it as like, oh, they don't say it here. But like they describe it with like an HD finish and I don't feel like it does. It just looks like a highlighter. It doesn't, I thought it was gonna have like kind of a soft focus look, kind of like the Hourglass does a little bit. I think my son's gonna go back to sleep, thank God. I can't stop putting it on. So I saw like reviews saying that if you had texture on your face, you could see it. And it's funny because like, I don't really have texture on my face. Like on this side, you really can't see much texture. But then here, there's like one bump here and that's like a tiny little bump. And I don't really normally have an issue with texture. So it must, it must really show like, like that. I think that's like a tiny blemish from the fact that I'm going to get my period soon. I'm going to report back on this. I love the packaging enough to keep it and use it. And I feel like it's the color is okay on me, but I don't know if it's worth $42. Like I thought I was going to so recap, what did I use today? So I used some Juvia's Place shadows, these two right here, and I used this all over my face, which I have to say, I really do like this over the uh, pure lease that I used and let's see what this retails for in full size $29 that's not bad for a tinted moisturizer or at least I don't think it's bad so honestly like I don't feel like it like I felt like the pure lease one kind of enhanced texture on my face and like my fine lines this does not I feel like it just kind of like melted in it really did feel like just a moisturizer, like it just like, but I don't, it, it's got to be super light coverage because you can still see all my freckles. I don't know. What do you guys think of this? Um, and then I used the sugar, uh, what is it? Peach Peak, Peach Peak blush on my cheeks love that and then i used the lash princess on my eyelashes i have to say i have to be careful with this it does get quite clumpy and i feel like i'll probably be getting rid of this before i actually run out just because i feel like the formula as it ages gets a little bit clumpier so something to note if you're looking for a mascara the price is only five dollars so i'm not like upset about it but it just, that's just the type of formula it is. And then I tried this, but it is much more red than I thought it was going to be. So I ended up taking it off and putting my favorite, uh, Sonic Truth. And they don't sell this shade anymore. Like, I don't know what I'm going to do. I think I'll probably just find another nude that I like. Maybe I'll sa save like a little nub of this and go into the Sephora when COVID's over and like swatch and try to find like a dupe for this. Not really a dupe, but like a very similar shade. Let's see. I think that's it. So this took a turn. Sorry. It was like me ranting and then I didn't really get to share with you. We, Adam did start potty training. Ooh to be quiet because I don't want to wake him up again um he did start potty training and so what happened was he and if you don't care about this sorry like I'll see you next time <laughs> but so he did start potty training and I took his pants off 
and let him run around the house naked. He had two accidents where he like peed just a tiny bit and he like announced it. And he was like, oh my God, I'm peeing. Cause like he didn't have the connection of like the feeling of going pee and like it coming out of his penis. Like that was not, which is why I was like, I don't, I'm not sure if we're ready for potty training. And so after those two like really minor accidents that he announced, he went pee on the potty and like he had like these really small accidents, like a couple drips. But then he like emptied his bladder on the toilet and like was like, yay, I did it. I'm so excited. So he hasn't had an accident since. He's like, of course, at nap time, we put him in a diaper and at bedtime, we put him in a diaper. And right now, if we leave the house, I'm putting him in a diaper because I just don't want to deal with that. I'll have to deal with that at some point, but like I'm nervous. Um, so, but the only thing is like normally he poops like four times a day and he hasn't pooped since we started this. And my daughter did the same thing and she was like, ended up being super constipated. So I really hope he poops soon. Fingers crossed that he poops. It's kind of a weird thing to be worried about, but, um, I know that pooping on the potty is like its own hurdle. And I also know that with boys, it can be kind of hard because like with pee, they can see what's going on, but with poop, they can't. So they kind of freak out. I was a preschool teacher a while back. So like, I remember a lot of boys having issues with this. This video is gonna be like way too long and I'm so sorry that it, if it was negative, it just is what it is. Life is very good and I'm, I'm excited to try all these new things. I'm excited about Christmas. I'm excited about Halloween. It's a little overwhelming to be completely honest. I feel like the holidays are all kind of like rushing at me because like the retailers are trying to sell as much as they can early because they know COVID's going to make things really different. But I'm done ordering the gifts for my kids. It's really to stop buying like I, I especially because like I have a month no I have two and a half months left I have two and a half months left how am I not gonna buy them a ton of gifts I really just don't want them to be spoiled but like I really enjoy watching them open gifts any, does anybody else have the same problem? Do you want me to do like what I got my kids for Christmas video? I see some of those and I don't know how people feel about that, especially with COVID. Like some of the Christmas gifts are expensive. Like I didn't personally buy a lot of expensive gifts just cause I feel like they're young and they don't care. So I look for a good deal. Um, but like my son picked out some things and like when I went on Amazon, I was like, that's a hundred dollars. Like, Hey, I'm not buying one gift for a hundred dollars for you unless you like knew exactly what it was and like genuinely wanted it. Yes. He went back to sleep. That means I can edit this video and put it up in time. I've been like lagging this week. Do you guys have any movies that are coming out that you're interested in seeing a trailer reaction for? Because... I would be more than happy to do it. I'm probably gonna film a trailer, another trailer reaction for Monday. So I will see you then. There's a lot of exciting things coming out. There's like too many exciting things coming out. Erica, we are definitely gonna go see. Everybody's talking about Jamie. I wanna see that. Okay, this has been long enough. Here's my makeup. There's a moment. It has passed and I will see you next time on the movie and makeup moment. Bye.